And welcome back to Let's Play Colonization. You can thank my uh, dungeon master for this video because I was supposed to play D&D tonight. Um, but he cancelled. He cancelled the entire session because he claims, uh, and he's sticking to his story, that he didn't have, have enough time to prepare. Uh, to be quite frank, I didn't really mind. I've been very, very busy lately and I still have very busy days coming, uh, coming up. Um, so, I don't mind that much really. Let's play some colonization and see if I, ca I can get this uh, whole war of independence going. Uh, I did uh, declare war on the French, which might have been a mistake. Because uh, they are bugging me beyond uh, beyond end, really. And they are t they are costing me resources every time I lose a battle. Which is needless to say, a bad thing. Ah, uh, the Indians are kicking their ass now. Excellent. I want this guy gone, and after that I'll just fortify and let them attack me in hopefully well-fortified cities. Excellent. Just continue building artillery. Mr. William Brewster joins our congress in the meantime. Not the most useful guy of the pack, but uh, we have most of them. Let's have uh, Mr. Magellan in there. It's not uh, that important anymore who we pick. Uh, this guy is just here to annoy, really. Uh, let's put him on sentry near a uh, central location. Where we can intercept a bunch of ships. I'm not gonna waste this cannon on this guy. I'm uh, gonna complete my fort. Mm, you can probably just block over there. Let's park these guys in the cities. I don't think I'm, I'm going back to Amsterdam anymore. Everything is way too expensive there. I would r really like to buy a bunch of horses, but uh, I don't think I can. Look at the price of muskets, my god. That's, uh, that's the maximum. Now I'm gonna block this uh, piece of land just like the French blocked it. And I have some gunsmiths here. Let's put these guys, guys to work. I have 300 tools and I'm probably throwing some away every turn. Let's uh, cut that out. I'm making 48. Yeah, this magazine also needs to be finished. I want guns and more guns and even more guns. Let's reinforce this city if I can. Now, there are 150 horses here. Let's see if we can get those as well. There's some ore over here. Let's get the resources to where they need to go. Let's corner this guy over here. He will probably get pummeled by the Indians, but uh, let's make sure he does. And first city, I believe, will be the city that will produce the most tools for the moment. Sorry, most muskets. So let's get the veteran guys there. Let's kill this guy. Excellent. Reinforced uh, this city. This doesn't have a lot of defense yet. Now, I want at least five cannons. Let's, let's say five cannons in those uh, key cities. Yeah, the other nations are also going towards uh, independence, and I'm not too sure what will happen if they do. I'm actually, yeah, I might lose the game, but it also might be just cost uh, cost me some points, which I don't mind really. That won't be half bad. Excellent. Let's upgrade this to a fortress, just for good measure. I'm making 48 tools here as well. Let's do an arsenal. Uh, let's let's hope the fort will just be enough. This is not on the coast, so. Well, this is more like it. 48 tools are being converted into 48 um, muskets, and I want even more. Yeah, I want a maximum. Let's get a real big heavy war machine going. 
There's some ore here that's not being used. I will uh, dump it off in uh, our main city. Convert it into tools. Excellent, we capture the guy. Let's hope the French want to talk at some point. Converts, not really any use for you at the moment. They work best on uh, field jobs in the field, but I have experts for that, so... Yeah, I'll just fortify them. Maybe they'll eventually leave again, it might be a waste, but I have plenty of people. That's right, kick their ass. Let's hope the English like me because we have a common enemy that might be working in my favor. I don't know how that works. I hope the game is coded smartly. Now there was a private theater, I might be able to intercept it with my awesome frigate. You start chopping again. Yeah, let's intercept. Slow down. Well, let's kill it. 16 to 8 with a 50% bonus. So that's um, 24. Evade. Bastard. Slippery French bugger. Yeah, let's go collect some horses. Uh, you can wait. 23 out of 52, and he needs 40. I still have plenty of time, I do believe. Look at the French, now they're blocking this city. Bastards. Wonder what will happen if I declare independence, if the war will continue. Really? <sighs> oh, this city's still in development. Give me the horses and some tobacco. Let's see if I can still sell the tobacco to the Indians. No doubt some uh, soldiers will be trained there quickly. They can immediately pick up the muskets and the horses. Sure, you can have some food. Buddies in arms, my friends. Excellent, we open fire on a privateer. That's just damage. French privateer, I think it's still a bit silly that I actually know uh, what nationality they are from. What are you? You're a weaver. Start weaving. You're a soldier. Start soldiering. Yeah, the king is also still expanding his army. Let's hope I do it faster than he does for the moment. And let's see if they still want to pay their regular 1500 for the smokes. No, they don't. Not by a long shot, actually. Lots of converts. Should be no problem. <laughs> Whoa! Bastards! How did they win that? Well, we got plenty of trained soldiers, just nothing to arm them with. At least not enough yet. And we're not making any tools here, so uh, you guys just better uh, clear out. 
city defense here is pretty thin. Needs a lot more artilleries. I'm thinking of building them. Yeah, let's buy one. Arsenal needs a hundred tools. Oh yeah, I'm probably making too much tools here now. Yeah. I can fix that, I guess. Okay, let's gift these Indians something. So then I'll make them happy and then I'll sell them the tobacco at a fair price. Kind of wondering what would happen if I just declare independence. Can I take these guys? Uh, I don't really care. Magellan, he shortens the trip from uh, from Amsterdam to the New World. Excellent, now give me an armory. This one gives an... Uh, Okay, to any city with has a population over three, and <laughs> every city already has that, but okay. Uh, I don't think the Indians want any more horses, I don't think they want any cigars either. Probably should pick up some tools. Right, this is fine. Give me artilleries, and lots of them. How uh, badly is the defense in this city now? It's just one soldier? Yeah. He can pick up some more horses once this grows. Uh, I'll buy an armory and start working on an artillery. One artillery will work uh, wonders against the Indians. So much micromanagement. It's, uh I hope it's not too tedious, actually. I like this kind of preparation. It's like a race, really. And uh, I get the feeling this War of Independence is a whole game within a game. I have fought the War of Independence on lower difficulty levels, and I usually did it uh, a lot... Uh oh, wow, they destroyed my artillery. We're going on the offensive now, yeah. Oh, come on, I'm in a fortress and everything. Bastards. Well, I'll upgrade this fortress then. Evil, evil French bastards. I'll spend the money. I have plenty of tools anyway, probably too much. Actually, you are horrible at this. Well, let's arm these guys to the teeth. There we go. I'm a bit short on food, but I can manage this for quite a bit. Where is my lumberjack? Oh, he's over here. Actually, I think one less is okay. I'm yeah, this is perfect. There's too many people here. I cannot see which is which. I don't think I have any veteran soldiers here. But I have plenty. What I need is guns. Oh yeah, this uh, particular thing over here. I don't have any tools here. So we can move again. Now this is tool production. Now we're talking. This is looking more like it. It's a 
shame those Indians are not effective yet, but uh, every battle they win, they gain muskets or horses. Yeah, screw you. I can still trade it, I believe, through the custom houses, and I'm not sailing back and forth anyway, so I will not take any crap, pretty much. And I also will call this a video and see you guys in the next. Uh, preparations are going smoothly for the moment. The French are still annoying, but, well, I think we're making progress. <laughs>